Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to do the Michi around the world and it looks like this. Okay, so the Michi around the world is sort of like the Tuzani around the world's opposite. So if you're having trouble with the Tuzani around the world or you simply don't like the trick, maybe you want to try Mitch around the world. So yeah, what it is, it's an inside around the world and a crossover mixed together. So you're going to be able to want to be able to do both of those tricks pretty comfortably before you attempt the Mitch around the world. So inside around the world and crossover and they look like this. Okay, so if you can't do those two tricks, just go onto my profile and there are tutorials to them. So check them out, learn them, and then once you're comfortable with them, then you can come back to this tutorial. But if you already can do them, then let's move on to the next step. Okay, so now you've got those two tricks, you want to mix them together and do the Michi around the world. So it's inside around the world and crossover in one motion. Now, the first thing you're going to notice when attempting it is that your timing is going to be all over the place. I tend to uh, find that when I was learning the Michi around the world, it seemed a lot more scarier. I don't know why, because maybe because I do outside around the worlds usually, but yeah, that was just one thing that I was afraid of. I was afraid of falling over. So if you're afraid of that, just practice on the grass and try and block it out. But yeah, you're going to do an inside around the world, and when you get three quarters of the way around, or maybe not three quarters of the way around, uh, sort of like just past halfway of the around the world, that's when you're going to bring over the other foot and do the crossover part. Okay, so as, the, as you're doing the crossover part, the ball is going to pop up and you'll continue juggling. Now, when you're learning the trick, um, your timing is going to be all out of place, so that just, that just comes down to practice. I mean, these days you can learn it really quick. So if you like study the trick, watch the trick over and over again, like keep replaying the uh, slow motions in this tutorial and you should be able to get it. But um, yeah, it's all down to practice and once it like clicks, you'll be able to do it. Okay, so one piece of advice I would say is um, keep the ball very centered with your body. Don't like spin it off to the side or keep it too high. You want to keep it very centered and try and keep the ball low. I think that helps with the mid around the world if the ball is low. That's about it for the mid around the world. Um, it's, a, it's a foundation trick in freestyle basically. So make sure you practice it a lot and you try and get it down as soon as you can. Um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Check out learnsfreestyle.com for, uh, for more of my videos. Uh, until next time, bye.